This is George from High Tech Legion. Today we're going to take a look at a new piece from Cooler Master, the Gemini M4. The Gemini M4 is an ultra low profile cooler coming in at only 59 millimeters tall. Uh, it is a new super slim fan that is used on it. It's a half height fan, only 12 and a half millimeters tall rather than the standard 25, and has an optimized heat pipe layout. The M4 does fit all of the latest Intel and AMD sockets including LGA 2011, 1366, 1155, 56, and 775, and uh, socket FM1, as well as AM2, AM3 for AMD. Taking a look at the box, the, uh, it comes in the standard Cooler Master packaging, white with the purple trim, and has a very nice large picture of the cooler itself emblazoned right on the front of the box. Heading around the back, we get a line drawing showing off its incredibly diminutive size. That 59 millimeters tall is really very, very small. Uh, also an explanation on some of the features. Super low profile with four direct contact heat pipes. Uh, that's going to come in really handy. Direct contact heat pipe in a pro uh, profile this small. You're going to want all of the dissipation you can possibly get, and the direct contact heat pipes are going to help. Suitable for HTPC or slim system with limited space. Well, obviously, 59 millimeters tall, it's going to be made for a slim system. Newly developed slim fan delivers uncompromised performance in keeping with compact dimension. Unique heat pipe layout combines the cooling efficiency of standard U-shaped heat pipes with a low profile of a C-shaped heat pipe. Over on the side of the box, we get some more of the specifications in a little bit more detail. Uh, dimension on the unit is actually uh, 137 by 22 by 59. So it's going to have a little bit bigger footprint than you'd normally expect in the case, but that 59 millimeters tall, it's just absolutely tiny. It's got the four direct contact heat pipes with aluminum fins, weighs in at only 210 grams. Uh, those four direct contact heat pipes are 6 millimeters and the fan speed of 500 to 1600 is PWM controlled. Out of the box, the Gemini M4 is certainly a unique looking piece. Taking a look, you can see very, very slim fan. Half thickness of standard fan, however, full 120 millimeters, and the blades themselves have a curvature, which is supposed to aid in keeping the noise down as well as keeping down, or keeping the airflow up. Uses pretty much standard clips on and off. Take it right off and get a look at the Gemini M4 heatsink itself. Really a unique looking piece. Uh, as you can see, it's got almost a V design. And the heat uh, pipes themselves, direct contact, as you can see, you've got two going up through this way, two going back, wrapping around in the other direction. Our direct contact, Nice mill on the bottom. Uh, gapping is not bad at all. You really don't have a lot of room for thermal interface material to get lost in there, so you should be able to get a really nice seat on that. As you can see, pure copper heat pipes, good size contact block, a little bit of heat fin up top, or uh, heat sink uh, fins up top, just to uh, give you a little bit of added heat dispersion. As you can see, fins themselves, nicely spaced, going to be able to get you some definite flow through there and onto the heat pipes. Really interesting looking little piece and as you can see just really really tiny, very diminutive. Even though the cooler is uh, very small in stature, it uses a pretty standard Cooler Master uh, kit. Standard Cooler Master backplate with Intel bars, separate LGA 2011 bars with its own tool, two sets of AMD so that you can choose your directionality of mounting, common components with little tube of tim, as well as a nut driver, and user's manual, fully illustrated. The Gemini M4, very interesting piece from Cooler Master. Uh, once again, top-down cooler, very, very low, 59 millimeter um, height, going to be great for any type HTPC or low profile PC, but gives you some nice features with the four 6mm heat pipes, direct contact, nice mill across the bottom, very interesting fin array, nice design with the V, going to keep some air flowing over that with the half height fan that is still capable of producing a good amount of airflow. Very, very interesting piece from Cooler Master.